Hello guys, I'm Julian from Confessum Gamers and today's video will be about the um, Supreme Jack of Trades or the normal Jack of Trades, whatever. Um, the Supreme Jack of Trades is an aura that can be bought from the loyalty shop with um, loyalty points. I'm a VIP member, which means I got a lot of bonus. Hello, Penguin. I really saw you, didn't I? Yep, so um, it's an aura and what it does is when you uh, get XP in a few different skills within 3 hours of activation you will get uh, an XP lamp and the supreme aura is the third in a row so you first need the normal jack of trades and you need the upgraded one and then you get the supreme one in total it's 105k Loyalty points, so that's a lot. But anyways, I will show you today how to get um, quick XP in um, 20 different skills. So uh, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. What I do is I take the load zone to Catherby and the um, requirements for this are not high at all. But you'll need a few things. You'll need some um, runes and a wand or a staff, um, a crossbow and some bolts. And that's about it, I guess. Yep. And uh, some kind of melee weapon. So first of all, what I do is I go to this. First of all, activate your aura. Activate aura. And now you'll... Aura time remaining, 3 hours, 0 of 20 necessary skills. And I rate this fruit tree patch. That's one skill done. Then I go to this fishing spot. And fish a few shrimps. That's two skills. So what I do next is I um, go to these evergreens and I chop um, three, two of them. So this is three skills. Um, and what I do now is I craft my logs. This is five skills. Only craft one, and then light the other one. Six skills, use your raw shrimps on them, seven skills, and now I have to run again, and to the northwest of Katsubi, you will encounter some unicorns, and with these, oh, an implant, that's what I need to, this is Hunter, um, you have to be lucky with this one, or you could just go to Puro Puro or whatever. Um, our time remaining, got seven skills already, so um, go to the unicorns, but before you attack them, make sure to um, go to this button and me choose melee or melee, I don't know, and pick the balanced one, and click it away, and just kill one unicorn. Um, this will give you hit points, attack, strength, and defense, this is four skills. So you'll see I have 11 now. What? It says 10. Should be 11. Yes, it's 11. So um, what I do next is I take my wand, um, put on a spell, and look for the other unicorn. I try to hit him once, and hopefully it won't kill him. Just, yeah, pick auto cost. Up, here we go. That's... And now I pick my um, crossbow, and I have some bolts equipped already. Looks pretty cool with this aura, right? And I get XP in those two. So that is a total of 13 skills already. So what I do next is I head to uh, the northwest, the northwest of Katsubi, the south of Sears Village, and here is a divination spot. So what I do is I just harvest one glowing wisp. Here we go, and that's that. Then I walk to the um, northwest again, and maybe you could do this. Um, oh no, I, I do this. Sorry, I walk to the flax field, pick one flax, one flax. Yeah, and then I head over to this spinning wheel, which gives you, of course. Some crafting experience to open the door. 
out of the ladder and go to the spinning wheel you are strange um, spin here we go that is 15 skills already then I go to this man or a man to a man pickpocket it that's 16 skills <laughs> if it works mm, come on here we go and then you'll also need a wicked hood or you can do this on a another way but what I do is I teleport to an altar and use my daily uh, wicked hood essences to simply get this these 20 skills excuse me here we go then I take the lodestone to the rock and I have accumulated a total of 17 skills already and I head to the southwest to this little mine and I mine some um, iron ores I tend to mine a few because I don't know if you get XP if you fill them at a furnace but I won't take any risks so I mine three of them it doesn't take long anyways mine three of them and what I do now is I take my lodestones to Falador and I'm going to the furnace right there you could also um, pick Edgefield but I haven't done any for rock uh, tasks I guess and once you arrived at Falador go to the furnace and then I will have um, 19 skills and uh, the last skill is not hard at all just um, go to your bank or any herb farming patch and um, take a grimy herb so that's a requirement too but it shouldn't be that hard head to the ground exchange if you haven't got one um, just take a, a grimy herb that you can clean like happened to shouldn't be any problem click on it clean it and you're done I guess yep then remove your aura a reward awaits you at the loyalty shop so what I do then is take the lotion into Varrock again you could also go to Birthorpe but I don't know I just always tend to take a... um, so I always go to Varrock and sorry my Camtasia stopped working so what I do is I head to Varrock once again I am um, run to this marketplace and talk to Xuan Xuan is a very friendly guy he will talk to you he will give you a reward so go to your inventory click on your supreme reward book choose a skill I always pick Slayer but um, it's um, the XP you get is level based so um for example I'd get 15k attack XP 15k magic mining 18k wood cutting and a 99 skill would give you 24k experience so I'm going to give it to Slayer and here we go thank you a lot for watching I hope this helped you out and saved you some time and see you later thank you